Wagwan Massive, I am Fziba. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to be suggesting the real cause of most types of hair loss while I rehydrate and rejuvenate this dry, thirsty hair. Just look on it, guys. You can see how thirsty it's looking. So for a while now on the channel, I've been hinting at what really caused hair loss. But in this video, I'm going to spell it right out. Now this is of course with the exception of male pattern baldness and traction alopecia because we don't know what caused traction alopecia already. I don't know what causes male pattern baldness. Uh, that's for another time. Now in Jamaica we call this thing bad blood or what is more formally known as inflammation. Yeah guys. Too much inflammation in the bloodstream is the major cause of most types of hair loss. Now, inflammation is not entirely a bad thing or how else would I know something really wrong in our body? I know that some persons will argue that their hair loss is caused by stress, hormonal issues or the lack of vitamin D. But guys, the reason why you lack vitamin D is because the body spends its time fighting inflammation so the normal regular function like absorbing nutrients like your vitamin d your vitamin a vitamin c vitamin k and so on those things are not as efficient and as i said the body spends its time fighting all this inflammation so guys we are exposed to the effects of inflammation like every single day so these includes the things that we eat the things that we put on our skin like our lotions deodorants and it also includes things such as medications it also includes the things that we use in our homes yes some we like when we always smell fresh and nice so we'll spray up all kind of sweetie sweetie and yes guys these things have what is called in them xenoestrogens and these are actually foreign to the body so similarly to when we get a, a prickle lodged in the fingers or so on and the body's first response is to produce inflammation at the site where the prickle lodge so that we can know that something is happening it's the very same thing that is happening in our bodies so we'll experience things like non-communicable diseases hair loss and a host of other things when the body is full of inflammation or when the blood is full of inflammation so we won't be able to entirely get rid of inflammation so the only thing we can really do is to reduce the effects and so these are some of the things that i do so number one i try to cut down on processed foods such as breads biscuits and so on I also try to eat more organic foods and I try to keep away from the GMO foods guys because yes those things are, are foreign to our bodies and our bodies are just gonna put up the resistance and as you can see on the channel I also try to incorporate a lot of natural things natural herbs and so on not just in my diet but in my hair care routine now guys, want to see how my day or attack, chat out the time, but anyway, my hair is well hydrated at this point. So I thank you very much for watching and let me know what are your thoughts in the comment section because I am convinced that the real cause of most types of hair loss is inflammation. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.